So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and this is going to be a big lots hunted haul video. Yeah, I haven't done a lot of these lately, but yeah, there's a new drop. What new drop am I talking about? Well, let's get into the video and you'll find out what are we waiting for? Let's go. And there was much rejoicing. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Jeff Man 316 Pop Culture Reporter Channel. I'm your host, as always, Jeff Man 316. Support me on social media, please. Hit up Jeff Man 316 on Instagram. Also, Jeff Man 316 PCR Pop Culture Reporter on TikTok. And then come over on uh, Sunday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern. We usually watch a movie and talk about pop culture stuff. But that's not what you're here for. You're here for a Big Lots video, right? So, yeah, I'm going to show you some footage and they. Uh, supposedly are having a drop of Screen Factory horror titles and stuff like that. And I did find a few things and then come back here and I'll show you the little haul. So let's get into the store footage and come on back and I'll show you what I picked up. Let's go. On the way over to the movie section, we're going to stop by the Halloween section. They don't have a lot out. They got a few things. But look at this. Look at this bad boy. What does this do? <laughs> this might be an instant purchase look at that oh look at that yeah i did that and then now i'm leaving <laughs> all right they got this movie over here confession kill game looks like they dropped some new horror titles you might be a killer's really good but i'd get that on blu-ray the ring two ring collection uh, one cut of the dead if you don't get the walmart steelbook uh, the neon demon is really good i own that the amityville murders already have that look prom night and prom night two and four it's weird where's three that's a good deal for that if you don't have those so some new horror titles look like they're dropping. What's up here? Dag in the dark. I don't know what that is. The seventh day. I think I remember getting that in the horror pack. The cursed. I know I got that in the horror pack on Blu-ray. Mayhem is good. That's a Dollar Tree title everybody was searching for back in the day. The Final Wish. I own that. Vampire's Kiss is a good movie. Saltwater. Vanishing on 7th Street. I remember finding a Blu-ray of that at the Dollar Tree. Hey, Tooth Fairy, The Extraction. MacGruber. Yeah, that, is that a horror movie? Some people might think it is. We got Skateland. The Flu, The Strangers, Pray at Night. A few new titles. What, what's going on over here? What is this? Eh, not much there. Oh, Roadkill. I remember finding that in the Dollar Tree. That's cool. Room. That was another one I found in the Dollar Tree. Man, I missed the Dollar Tree. A hey, post-mortem. That was kind of cool. The Little Vampire. I don't know about that. Possessed. That's an older movie. Hey, Murder Party, man. I used to own that. I might have to pick that up. I'll tell you more about that later. The Widow. That's an awesome cover. So there's some Shout Factory titles, or Screen Factory, whatever you want to call them. The Possessed. That looks kind of cool. Oh, I remember this movie. Sundown. It's got Bruce Campbell in it. The Exorcist, The Beginning. Humans. I think I've got that already. I definitely got that. Critters attack. I remember finding that in the Dollar Tree. Oh, shit. We're going to have to clean that up later. I guess I'll pick all that up. Adam's Family, 10 Cloverfield Lane. What else we got over here? Pledges. That looks kind of cool. On the third day, I like that cover. Live or Let Die. Is that a James Bond versus Zombies? Oh, hello, kitty. Look at there. I got might have to pick that up for sure. There's another copy of that Sundown. Might have to get that. 
So I think that's going to about do it. So let's get home and I'll show you what I actually picked up from this store. So hopefully you enjoyed that footage. Like I said, I won't go back in the store. It's closing. They didn't have anything um, uh, from what I understand that's left. They, they cleaned it out shortly after I was in there. And then the store that I just showed you did not have a lot of stock. And that store is a hot mess. Um, if you can see the shelves, they put the movies on like this. And that's the little hole I got. So um, it's hard to see, to see it. You have to shuffle it around. It's hard for me to record in there. Um, but either way, I thought I would let you know there is a drop that a lot of people are finding. Got some horror titles in it. It's not. It's it's a lot of Screen Factory slash Shout Factory stuff. Um, but it's also Magnet and other releases. So without further ado, I'll show you what I picked up in that one store, and then I'll tell you what my plans are moving forward. So the first movie I got is a movie I actually used to own, and the case was damaged, and I got it I think at a Hollywood Video that closed. So I went ahead and sold it back then. Uh, for like 50 cent or so at a yard sale. But this is a factory seal copy of Murder Party. And I like this movie. It's really uh, off the wall, crazy, zany uh, for $3.99. Plus, I think I had a, a 5 off 15. I think that was the only coupon I had for this store. So Murder Party is the first one. I saw, I think, Horror Punk in his video picked this one up. Uh, Pledges. This is a... Um, is this Mill Creek? No, Echo Bridge. This is an Echo Bridge release that I didn't have. Back cover's kind of cool. So I figure for $2.99, I give it a, cho a chance. So this second movie, it seems like I used to own it and I couldn't find it. And it's a quirky title, but I think it might have been one that I had like recorded off a of TV. I used to have a DVD recorder and I would record stuff. I don't think I actually physically own this like on a true um you know, a factory DVD, and it's of the movie Sundown, uh, The Vampire in Retreat, and it's got Bruce Campbell in it, and um, David Carradine, Jim Metzler, Morgan Brittany, and Bruce Campbell. I remember that cover, but I do, I do not own a legit copy of this, so that I picked this up. Lots of special features, so you can look at that if you want, but I thought that was kind of cool. Um, like I said, so I actually own a legit copy of it now. A movie called The Possessed. I swear I thought I'd seen this cover. But I don't remember buying it anywhere. And for the price, I went ahead and picked it up. I can use it in the giveaway, the next one that we do. Hurry up and get me to 4,000 subscribers and I'll do another giveaway. Um, but either way, that looks kind of cool. And that is a legit Screen Factory title. The other ones weren't. Like Lionsgate was at Sundown and Magnet was Murder Party. And the next three are not only screen factories, but they also have slip covers. On the third day, according to them, hell is coming. So I thought that was kind of cool. I don't remember seeing this in Walmart or anywhere. But I like that hand there. It's kind of cool. So does the carpet match the drapes? Yep. And the next one is Live or Let Die. I'm not even going to attempt to say those names. Looks like I got lots of zombie stuff. And, yes, carpet matches the drapes. And last but not least, I got this for the cover alone. Um, I thought this might have been a horror pack title. So I've got a downloaded list of all the stuff released at least through July for Horror Pack. And I looked it up and didn't see it on there. So I went and took a chance that I didn't have it for $2.99 plus the discount. I got The Widow. That cover is pretty awesome. Carpet matches the drapes. So I know there's a lot of other titles people are finding. That store didn't have jack shit. This was all they had. So that's what I picked up. So hopefully you guys like that little mini haul. And, you're, and I just wanted to get a video out there really quick um, to go out and look for the Shout Factory, Screen Factory, like horror titles that are popping up at Big Lots Cheap. I know that I've got an active 10 all 40 coupon. And I know uh, that when I'm recording this, I'm going to go to a movie this weekend and I'm going to go into the Big Lots there. And that Big Lots is usually top notch. It's a nice Big Lots clean. Things are organized on a rack. 
um, one of those ones with four sides. I'm going to try to pick up some more stuff and maybe use that coupon. So you might get rapid fire two big lots hunt and haul videos, you know, within about a week's period of time. So I hope you like those. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that normal YouTube stuff. Please support me any way you can. Come over, JeffMan316 live, Sunday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern. Also, hit me up on Instagram, JeffMan316. Please follow me there. And if you want to follow me on TikTok, look up JeffMan316. PCR, Pop Culture Reporter there. I'm going to start posting some stuff on there as well. I need to get a certain number of followers on all my social media and YouTube platform and everything before I can even be considered to get, you know, distribution review copies of anything. So that's what I want to move towards and then do more reviews of, of products on the channel. Or if there's anything you see in any of my videos that you'd like me to watch and review, let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate all you guys while you're down there doing all that normal YouTube stuff. Do not forget to hit the notification bell. You'll know when I post my next video, which will be another Big Lots haul coming up soon. So until next time, boys and girls, this has been Jeff Man 316 your pop culture reporter. I'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there. Oh, look, it's quite simple. Uh, you just stay here. I'll make sure he doesn't leave the room. <laughs>